It would seem as if uh, a diplomatic breakthrough has happened. Israel and the United Arab Emirates uh, have normalized ties. Uh, let's bring in my colleague, MSNBC anchor Eamon uh, Mohideen, very familiar with that part of the world. Uh, Eamon, and you, you'll correct me if I'm wrong here, this makes the UAE the third Arab country to recognize Israel's existence, the other two being Egypt and Jordan, uh, who, of course, share a border with Israel. How significant is this announcement from the president? Yeah, so let me uh, break this down in a few. And there's so many different things to talk about from what we just heard there from that press conference. Uh, yes, this does make Israel and the United Arab Emirates, I should say the UAE, the third official country uh, to recognize Israel. Of course, there have been unofficial exchanges between Israel and other Arab countries. Obviously, the Israeli prime minister was in the Sultanate of Oman earlier, uh, I believe last year, I should say. So there, it's not a surprise to say that Israel has had unofficial relationships with Arab countries. That aside, though, for a moment, uh, it is an important day from a symbolic point of view. Israel and the United Arab Emirates have obviously maintained uh, relationships over a whole host of issues over the last couple of years. Those bonds have gotten deeper. It does not surprise anyone that this has come out. I do want to point out something very important that was not mentioned in that press conference that is in the official release that came out from the White House, and that is in exchange for this diplomatic relationship between the United Arab Emirates and Israel, is Israel agreeing to suspend annexation or declaring sovereignty over parts of the West Bank in accordance with President Trump's uh, peace deal or peace vision, if you will, for the Middle East? I say that that's important because on the surface of this, it looks like these two sides just agreed uh, to recognize one another, to have diplomatic relations, economic trade. Yes, that is very important. But there is a point here that the United Arab Emirates is emphasizing. That is, Israel has agreed to, as part of this agreement, to suspend declaring sovereignty over parts of the West Bank. That's obviously very important because over the last couple of months, the Israeli prime minister has vowed to declare full sovereignty over parts of the West Bank. That would obviously derail, if not completely put an end to a two-state solution. A lot of people are already saying the two-state solution is already dead, but I'm just putting it in context of what we're seeing today and why the United Arab Emirates may have uh, agreed to this deal. But there was also another important point from that announcement, and that is what came out from Brian Hook, and that this really is more about Iran than it is about any other part uh, of the Middle East. The word Palestine, Palestinians, was not mentioned in that announcement there coming out of the White House, but Iran was mentioned, and I think that's very important for our viewers to understand as well. Israel and the United Arab Emirates view Iran as a threat. Uh, that is the geostrategic underlying uh, principle for why they're forging ahead with this uh, agreement to contain Iran in the region, and that is something they have benefited from under President Trump. So it makes, uh, it, I would say it comes as no surprise, really, that, that this is being uh, officialized. It'll be interesting to see what happens, the kind of reaction we get from the United Arab Emirates' uh, other allies, including most notably Saudi Arabia. You may recall, our viewers may recall, Saudi Arabia had already offered, and our other Arab countries had already offered Israel a full normalization with the Arab world if Israel agreed to a two-state solution, ending the occupation, uh, ending the occupation of the West Bank, Gaza, East Jerusalem. So it seems for now, at least, this part of the deal, this part of suspending annexation is what Israel will give up in exchange of having this diplomatic relationship with the United Arab Emirates. Of course, uh, the detail uh, is always the, the hard part to see what is actually going to be implemented on the ground and whether or not there are any specific carve outs uh, in this deal, Craig. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.